Hi there, how are you? Class, welcome to lesson 6 it's about the cruise industry. Let me go through the lesson objective of lesson 6. First, this topic itself is going to cover things like uh, share with you on understanding why people cruise, uh, identify cruise ship facilities, as well as explore the cruise ship experience. I also bring you about the cruise ship operations and how the cruise product is being distributed. And lastly, identify some of the popular cruise destinations. The cruise industry. The cruise industry is a vacation trip uh, ship. And to me, it's just like a floating hotel with lots of amenities people to enjoy and in fact how good the cruise ship be partly based on the amenities or the facilities available for people to enjoy be it young or old and in today's world uh, it has been become a major part of the tourism industry with millions of passengers each year cruising around different parts of the world itself. Um, next, I will bring you further to the cruise industry and why people take a cruise vacation. Basically, right, people take a cruise vacation because they can get away from it all. Right, leave down their job and uh, you try to enjoy luxury services provided by the various crew members from various parts of the world. And to some extent, cruise ship also actually sail to interesting destinations. Uh, later on, which I will share with you further. There are people who could take a cruise because they can do anything and many things in that. And to some extent, some don't even do anything. Right. So, personally, I find that very relaxing. You can choose things that you love to do. And to me, I find that there's always something for everyone to enjoy. And whether you are young or old, you are bound to have lots of activities arranged right, by the crew member so that everyone has something to do. Uh, to some extent, it can be a learning experience as well, especially for those who have never been to a cruise before. And lastly, uh, in this slide here, talks about friendly experience. Basically, you are being served uh, by friendly, well-trained staff from all various parts of the world which they recruited in fact. There are some more other reasons as well as why people cruise. To some people, they find that it can be a very romantic experience. You can hide one corner and do hanky panky things, you know, and yeah, indeed, it can be a very romantic experience. It also can be a safe experience as well. To some of them, they find that a uh, cruise ship is much safer than any types of, uh, packages, same in the sense that we have security personnel, we have medical officers, we have safety boards in case there's any emergency, all is being taken care of. Uh, it's also a trendy experience. Nowadays, a lot of people get the opportunity to go on board a cruise ship and with their um, household income. Okay, it's been increasing. So, therefore, people have the spending power to take a cruise package. And therefore, it is a very popular uh, product for everyone to enjoy. It's a no hassle vacation. Next. You pay one lump sum, okay, everything is being catered for. And once the moment you check in to the cruise ship itself. Uh, 
uh, very unlikely that you will be shifting in and out of the cabin. Not much of uh, walking involved at you. Right? So everything is being taken care of. Right? Not much of sightseeing involved. Now, next, I'd like to bring you into the cruise ship itself in terms of uh, what kind of facilities they have to use. Uh, if you take a good look, these are the basic facilities that most of the cruise ship should have to use. I also like to show you right, some of the uh, pictures of some of the cruise ship. And on this slide as well, I have uh, some basic facilities commonly found on board the cruise ship itself. Now, next, talking about the ship experience. Before you sail, you have to check in with your passport and your travel visa, perhaps. That can be considered as your necessary document. Just like you are uh, checking in to the airport itself. And all your bags, your luggage, have to go through the security gate to scan for security purposes. And then after that, you have to make all your way up to the gangway. To some extent, some cruise ships are being welcomed by several members of the cruise ship by giving welcome drinks. And some even have a photographer to take a picture of you, family members, and you can purchase them after that, in fact. Okay, and of course, you have to find your cabin, your room, and most importantly, before the ship departs, take note, a live boat drill will take place. So these are some the pictures. Now next, bond voyage. A celebration will take place, and sometimes the cruise ship will organize a cocktail reception, or it could be a welcome dinner on board the cruise ship, and it's being hosted by the captain of the ship and some other important personnel as well. These are some of the pictures, uh, celebration, cocktail party is being held on the upper deck as well as in some of the restaurants. During the sea days, the choice is yours. You can participate in various activities on a daily basis. There are activities catered to the young, to the old. Adult, everybody basically, right? round the clock, everyone will have something to do and you will never feel bored. Okay? During the port days, right, this means the ship get the opportunity to dock on a particular harbor. And once you have this opportunity, passenger itself has actually four options to choose from. They can choose to stay on board. They can explore the port on their own or even buy a tour or activity from a vendor right, somewhere near the harbor. Or of course, lastly, last option is to go on a shore excursion um, they, whereby you can purchase uh, on board the cruise ship itself. And towards the end of the cruise, now you have a farewell dinner. Okay, again, it will be hosted by the uh, captain and some of the important personnel on the cruise ship. Okay, and you will enjoy a farewell dinner. And also at this point of time, you have to settle your outstanding charges, pack your bag, okay, and ready to disembark from the cruise ship itself. Okay, so this is what's going to happen okay, at the end of the cruise. And not forgetting, okay, you have to make your way up to the custom. Uh, you have to clear the custom and immigration as well. That will be uh, towards the last thing. 
Now next, I would like to share with you further uh, one of the most important facilities uh, in the cruise ship and that is your stateroom. So it's just like your room for you to rest or for you to sleep. Mainly there are three types of stateroom found on board the cruise ship. Outside stateroom. Outside stateroom have windows and portholes and normally they are more spacious and more expensive especially those in balcony class are very suitable for people who uh, prefer a room that is not so confining and these are some of the pictures of outside stateroom then for inside stateroom normally they are located in the ship interior and they have no window portholes or even balcony at all okay and one aspect of the design is that they use mirror bright lighting and some some extent, some they even use a fake window to make the room feel more spacious, and this is how it will look like. And of course, suite is one of the biggest and one of the most expensive room in most of the cruise ship itself, right? And normally they come with extra amenities like bathroom, champagne, or even butler service as well. Okay, next we talk about the cruise operation. Okay, mainly they are divided into two parts, sailing operation and hotel operation. Okay, and these are some of the personnel. First, the captain in charge of the cruise ship. Uh, second in command will be the deputy captain, followed by also okay, you have uh, other personnel like the chief engineer in charge of the mechan mechanical operation and the maintenance of the ship. Uh, normally, on board the cruise ship, they have chief medical officer or a doctor attending to people or their staff, crew member who are sick. They even have chief radio communication officer on board the cruise ship. Of course, they're in charge of all the communication network system example like emergency transmission, ship to shore call, internet communication and even programming as well. Uh, towards the hotel expect, okay, we have this group of people, the hotel manager, okay, in charge of the gas satisfaction and comfort okay, and other issues as well. And they also have a puzzle, that's like a hotel front desk manager. Okay, they even have a shore excursion manager in charge of all the operations and booking of the, of the offshore tours and most importantly a cruise director okay they need to have this personnel so that the ship has lots of interesting uh, entertainment provided for all the passenger on board the cruise ship itself okay not forgetting about food person who is in charge, you know, as the executive chef. Okay, then in most of the restaurant outlets, okay, they should have F and B uh, manager as well. Okay, not forgetting about cleanliness, okay, the head housekeeper or so called chief steward, okay, managing the cleanliness of the rooms, public space and other ship box uh, cleaning as well on the public areas. Okay, and towards that, how cruise ships are sold okay, can be distributed by the travel agent, cruise line themselves, internet, okay, and we can get product from these three sources basically. And lastly, okay, just want to share with you, these are some of the popular destinations right, in the cruise industry itself. Okay, and that's all for lesson 6. I hope you have enjoyed my recording of this session. Okay. Thank you and I will see you later to do the rest of the uh, tutorials. Thank you. Goodbye.